Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BLR Knowledge Center. In this today's session, we're going to talk about Dozo Toolkit introduction part. So what is Dozo and uh, how it is going to help for developing web applications and what exactly it contains in the toolkit and why we use Dozo and how to get this Dozo toolkit uh, from the you know internet, right? So let's get into this introduction part, right? What is this Dozo? So as as I said uh, in in the you know our Dozo toolkit introduction part, uh, in some of the earlier sessions, I used to use this Dozo toolkit to uh, open dialog models. So this is an open source JavaScript library wherein you uh, use this for you know uh, developing websites, right? With simple uh, reference called Dozo.js. So this is open source. Everybody can download it from internet. And you can use it for uh, web page development, which will have you know the high performance because it is having asynchronous uh, calls, like it is having a component called Dozo, right? Which is a core component of Dozo Toolkit, which will load uh, the you no know, calls and uh, kind of uh, uh, you know the uh, data binding uh, happening in asynchronous. Hence, it is very uh, quickly loading it on client hence it is very faster and scalable you know and when it comes to website development so this is an open source where you can use that uh, directly into any website like php or asp.net or any html5 or any other language and just give a reference like dozer.js that is what the core component uh, we need to use this dose so when you talk about the, uh, you know, the difference, I mean, the uh, definition of Dozo, right? Here it is a definition. So Dozo is an open source of framework, okay? Which is basically a, a kind of a, a JavaScript library, right? And we can say that open source JavaScript toolkit, which is used for the development, right? Of uh, the scalable web applications or robust web applications, right? And also, <clears throat> it is used for you know developing or designing web applications and cross-platform applications. Okay, and this Dozo provides right uniform access uh, to browser APIs, wherein it supports all modern uh, browsers, which is basically encapsulates all JavaScript implementations very easily. And also, it provides right a beautiful widgets wherein you just uh, integrate into your website using a you know, library of Dozer toolkit and design your UI of a widget, right? So widget is nothing but a kind of a room where you create layouts and you ask any website or web page to sit into that particular area, uh, like a kind of a container kind of stuff. So when it comes to the uh, uh, Dozo core component, here it is, the path of CDN path. This is what the CDN path, right? We are going to use it to uh, get this uh, file. Like if you want to uh, get any uh, specific version of this particular thing, you just go and browse this particular stuff here. Like, you know, uh, so let us say like, I want uh, some 1.16 version of this Dozo. Not like it's not having it. Let's try 10 version. Let's try 11 version. So like that, you will get this uh, open source, you know, the Dozo core component. This is what the Dozo uh, core component, which is comes up within Dozo.js. This reference you need to give it as part of this particular, uh, you know, the integration to any website like PHP or uh, ASP or any HTML kind of stuff, right? So in any website, uh, if you want to develop using any programming language, you need to give a reference of this Dozo core so that it come and sit in your application to you uh, allow user to use all the features inside of this particular dose. Okay, so and coming to this, uh, right? You know the uh, features we are going to have it inside of this dose is there are so many features we have it, right? So let me uh, tell you some features here. Like you know uh, the first feature of this dose is features. Modular architecture, modular architecture. And next one is widgets, as I already told you. Next one is event-driven, event-driven programming. It is having inside of it. That is event-driven programming model. 
and uh, data binding, we have in this dozer to bind data to grid and charts and animations it supports and uh, localization. We have localization we have in dozer. And the other thing was it support mobile devices, seamless any any uh, uh, device you want to browse it, this you can directly browse it. And it has some utilities inside of Dozo, which can be used for you know designing your website with a rich uh, look. And it supports modern right web technology. That is modern web technologies. And last one is it has active community wherein you can get always uh, latest information from this Dozo, uh, you know, uh, toolkit. So these are some of the features, right? We have in this Dozo toolkit, hence it is very uh, popular to use uh, to develop web applications, right? So modular architecture means it has different components inside of it, wherein you just use the relevant component instead of using all the components. That way it is uh, separated from Dozo core and then Dozo base. I think we'll see the architecture, Dozo architecture for more understanding and that like how it looks like, because as I mentioned, it is a core component. And then we have a you know, base component and then we have a desert and Dozo X and utilities. These are some components we have inside of Dozo toolkit. So all our modular architecture implementations where you just use the relevant library, right? As I mentioned, if you want to use any feature of Dozer toolkit, you need to give a reference of this. One J is fully enough. And other features are automatically comes right using a JavaScript code. Okay. So coming to the widgets, as I said, like it has a beautiful widgets. You can use these widgets to design your web page and you design layouts to set uh you need to ask any web page to you know right uh, keeping in that widget or layout and visualize the you know, UI with the rich look, right? And also it's how it has event-driven programming model wherein uh, uh, Dozo allows uh, developers to create events and manage, right? Their events handlers, right? Very smoothly. And uh, that's how it has a beautiful programming model with the Dozo toolkit. And then data binding, as I said, it has a kind of a robust data binding system to bind data and that way it is in sync with the web server and the client, always latest data. And animation, so again, it is one of the other feature we have in Dozer Toolkit, which is basically using it for managing, right? Or, you know, animating the images on web pages. And localization, right? Again, it is kind of a feature which is using it for, you know, to develop the web, web application to support multiple languages or multiple cultures. So today, I think I'm going to develop in English and tomorrow if you want to develop or render your web page in a different culture or different region or different language, we can use this localization part. So, and other other thing was we have a, a mobile devices. That means uh, seamless of any device. This Dozo code is supporting, so you can directly browse the website, which is having Dozo stuff uh, on any different device. That means seamless of any device on different devices, right? This Dozo code is going to work on smartphones or iPads or iOS or Android or any uh, you know, kind of operating system applications. And next one is utilities, which is basically having certain kind of components, right? Some common tasks, which will perform such as uh, working with arrays or making asynchronous calls or uh, designing UI with some widgets, right? So there are a lot more utilities we have in Toso where you can use it as part of uh, development in a website. And based on the requirement, you can choose whatever you require instead of utilities. Right. And next one is modern web technologies. So this this is basically works on any modern technology like HTML5 or CSS, CSS3, right, which can be used to take an advantage of developers and use, right, this Dozo uh, toolkit. The last one is Active Community. It has a, a, active, a, a big or large community wherein it, it has some, uh, you know, the uh, team which is working on latest technologies and latest features they are adding it in each and every version you just directly visit that website download i think the website of this dozo toolkit is like you know let me inform you here uh, how to download download uh, dozo is right the website here is 
uh, HTTP, right? Slash slash download dot dozo toolkit dot watch. So this is the website where you can directly browse this. Let me open this and show you like so that you will have some idea on it. Mm. So this is where the Dozo a toolkit website where it provides all the you know downloads right based on the version. So the latest version is 1.17.3, right? Which is basically having TypeScript as well as JavaScript, right? You guys can go here and you can download this right different kind of uh, formatting like zip file or rar file or anything. So as I mentioned, this is the core uh, component inside of Dozo, right? This is what the reference again. I'm saying you need to give in your page so that it will uh, refer all the in, uh, relevant or internal, uh, you know, uh, other libraries, right? So based on the format or uh, the system which you are having it, like you know, uh, uh, gzip or rar or md 5 zip or so tar file, you just download that particular file so and you can uh, get that particular stuff, okay. So if I want to open this, so I can see these are the things you can see here, like as I mentioned, it has Dozo and Dozo X and Dizit, right? These are the three components along with utilities, right? These four are the components. So this is the core, I mean, this is the core component and this is the uh, base component and this is what uh, advanced components, which in, we have different controllers right controls where you can use it as part of you know designing your web page like these are the sub controls like you can use it all this calendar charting or a calculator all this stuff you can use it uh, based on the requirement and based on the you know need on your web page right and everything is you now a uh, modular architecture where you just uh, use that dozo or js reference and rest of all these things can be uh, called using uh, you know the uh, javascript okay let me go back here <coughs> our session. So this is what the website you need to refer as part of uh, downloading, right? So why is Dozo? Why is Dozo, right? So as I said, this is open source. That is one of the reason I think we need to use it and it supports or it is having the different widgets to make, right? Creating web application simpler and quick with a rich uh, look, right? And also it helps in handling of a class browser down, okay? First thing is uh, Dozo makes uh, creating web applications simpler and very quick because it is uh, having readily available uh, JavaScript libraries. We just give a reference and you just invoke that library using JavaScript. Second thing is it helps in it uh, helps in handling right the cross browser development. That means uh, so it. By default, it allows class browser access, even though if you're uh, having different uh, uh, domains instead of your URL, right? Or uh, you are invoking from different browsers, right? Uh, and from the different systems, different uh, operating systems, it, it it automatically handles all the events, right? It won't throw you any kind of cross origin or cross, uh, you know, the uh, domain uh, issues as part of browsing your website, which is uh, developed Right, which is developing using DOS. So hence, it is uh, good in using uh, DOS, right? And next one is uh, how to get DOS. As I mentioned already here, you need to visit this particular website and you just download whatever you want it. So this is something introduction part of all this DOS, like as an open source library or toolkit, right? Which can be used for developing websites, uh, scalable applications with robust uh, changes, okay? So we'll see the architecture part in the next session, like, like what is the architecture instead of Dozo, like on the components. So that we'll uh, walk through each and every component and we'll see like what gets benefited using each component instead of Dozo toolkit. Okay. Thanks for listening to this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.